Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Yesterday, Starship S-28 accompanied Booster 10 back to the build site for final pre-flight checkouts. There's a buzz about the possibility of SpaceX loading some dummy Starlink satellites onto this particular Starship for the upcoming Flight 3. While both the booster and the ship undergo checks at the build site, noticeable changes are taking place at the launch site. Crews are decommissioning the unused vertical water storage tank at the orbital tank farm, which suffered damage during the first Starship launch. They're working diligently to remove it, making room for other necessary equipment. On Wednesday evening, at Massey's site, S-28 successfully completed its first cryogenic test. Moving on to Thursday night, SpaceX achieved its second mission of the year. One, zero, mission left on. Avzon 3 soared into space atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The first stage booster B-1076 completed its 10th launch and landing. Landing like deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. And there you have it, this landing marks SpaceX's 261st recovery of an orbital class rocket. The year 2024 is off to an incredible start for SpaceX, with last year's record-breaking pace setting the stage for a doubleheader on January 7. Scheduled launches include Starlink 635 from SLC-40 and Starlink 710 from SLC-4E. Shortly after, United Launch Alliance aims to launch the United States' first lunar lander since the Apollo era. Astrobotics Peregrine Lunar Lander is set for liftoff aboard the maiden flight of the Vulcan Centaur rocket, scheduled for January 8 at 2.18 a.m. Eastern Time from SLC-41. The fully assembled Vulcan rocket was rolled out to the pad earlier today, in anticipation of the upcoming flight in less than three days. The long-awaited lunar lander will carry 20 scientific payloads on board, including five from NASA to study the lunar surface for future Artemis missions. Best wishes to everyone involved in this mission for a successful flight and a triumphant moon landing, paving the way for America's continued exploration of the lunar surface. I am planning to live stream this launch on the channel, so if you're interested, you can watch it live here in three days and all the SpaceX launches mentioned earlier. That wraps up this brief video. Thank you for tuning in.